Hello everyone, welcome back to Radiology Med Easy, your all-time favorite YouTube channel. Let's see today's case. Hello, welcome back everyone. This is case number 19 in abdominal radiology. Today our patient is a neonate presented with abdominal distension and bilious vomiting. So this is the anterior posterior radiograph of skated immature patients abdomen actually of this neonate. So at a glance you can see abnormality here. You can see rounded, two rounded air lucencies. One is here, the one is here. So relatively large rounded lucencies uh, which has density to air. So air lucencies are there. So you call it double bubble appearance. Bubble, bubble appearance. So that's a unique radiological feature. And NG tube you can see it's inside too. And uh, no evidence of uh, intraperitoneal layer or football signs. It's a supine x-ray so no anti-rebdural wall layer collections. Uh, no portovenous gas in this region. And no obvious intramural layer in the stomach or the this is actually stomach this is the first part of the duodenum this is the stomach this is the first part of the duodenum dilated and uh, and also we can't see any distal bowel loops here so it's a proximal bowel obstruction proximal bowel obstruction distal bowel loops are collapsed and uh, there are no complicating features and also you have to check the ribs here you can probably there are 12 ribs because here the first lumbar vertebra is the first second third fourth fifth these are sacral parts and uh, so so actually the this one is the first one second third fourth fifth so you can see the 12 rib here so 12 ribs are probably there uh, to accurately to check you have to look at the chest x-ray also but there are probably there are 12 ribs and uh, no other bone abnormalities bones are normal you can see a catheter bulb and the catheter inside too so in this case uh, the diagnosis is duodenal atresia Duodenal atresia is the diagnosis in this case. So differential diagnosis uh, and this uh, duodenal stenosis you can't exclude those things by looking at uh, the x-ray and uh, these are uh, the diagnosis of this case is duodenal atresia that means the lumen is not canalized so obstruction to the lumen is there during stenosis usually external compression like leds bands annular pancreas it's also seen in down syndrome and also other fetal defects like cholidocal cyst or mental cyst and uh, duplication cyst the, the, these things will cause stenosis by external compression and the second one is you can see the original web can also cause intraluminal obstruction it's a kind of a diaphragm within the lumen and also malrotation leading to midgut volvulus so so uh, another cause so these so a few differential diagnosis for double bubble appearance but the diagnosis in this case duodenal atresia so you can it's important to exclude down syndrome uh, in this duodenal atresia it is common in down syndrome and the things you have to look for the complications of duodenal atresia like uh, bowel perforations bowel ischemia and next investigation is ultrasound abdomen and uh, 
then the investigation of choices uh, upper gi contra study so that concludes uh, case number 19 in abdominal radiology so please subscribe by my youtube channel then you will get notifications of our new videos and thank you everyone thanks for watching please like and subscribe for more videos like this